Experts are agreed that the London Underground is the largest underground train system in all of London. It also provides a wonderful opportunity for standing too close to too many people while refusing to make eye contact with any of them. On this journey alone, I've got more men in the armpit than I have the eye. For many people, a journey by tube is a necessary evil. But it's all made slightly more bearable when you emerge into a station like this. Canary Wharf Tube Station is the largest of the new stations on the Jubilee Line extension. It was designed by Norman Foster, but I suspect he based it on drawings I did when I was eight years of age and Miss Cartwright asked our class to draw a vision of the future. It's unlike any other tube station I know. What I can't quite get over is the sheer size of the place. It's 315 metres in length. Put that in perspective, this station is as long as Canary Wharf, Britain's tallest building, is tall. But in another way, this building is as tall as this one is long. But what I find even more striking is its depth. Yep, it's 27 metres deep, but you never really feel like you're underground. The ceilings above you never quite meet, so you always have views to the floor above. Even two storeys down here on the platform, if you look up, you can catch a glimpse of daylight. There's none of that horrible claustrophobic feeling you get in most tube stations. And I'm impressed by the attention to detail in the design. I like how the classic tube sign is embedded in a concrete bench that's got a contemporary shape. You think of concrete and you think of ugly 60s tower blocks, but actually it's about line and shape, and here it works really well alongside the steel. I'd go so far as to say that concrete is beautiful. In some ways, it reminds me of a Bond villain's lair. These glass corridors should be full of anonymous men in white overalls, carrying chemicals and adjusting dials. I'm sure that somewhere in amongst all this, Blofeld sits plotting. It's at this level that I think you can appreciate the real masterpiece of the design. The space is vast and bathed in light, thanks to the arched glass canopy that sits like an eyelid at the entrance. I love the undulating ceiling, and, at the risk of sounding like I've read a book, the rows of almost classical slender pillars. It's an enormous building, but there isn't much of it. It seems to be as little structure and as much space as possible. As well as being really beautiful, it's also an eminently practical building. These fantastic pillars are really robust and they're clad in vandal-proof stainless steel. There are two things that you don't see in most public buildings these days, but this station has them. Toilets. One thing you don't see here, that you do see everywhere else though, is litter. I'd like to think that people don't drop litter here because they like it. But maybe it's because Blofeld feeds litter bugs to the sharks. It really seems that the whole place has been designed with the traveller in mind. From bottom to top, there's no confusion as to which direction to take. Instead of the usual twists and turns in a tube station rabbit warren, there's only really one way to go. The building itself guides you through the process. Canary Wharf Tube Station is organised but elegant. It serves its function whilst being beautiful and inviting. It's not my favourite tube station in London, because obviously my favourite tube station is the one I live nearest to. But it is one of my favourite buildings in London.